So I think it's also important to understand that <clears throat> if somebody comes in who's really diligently seeking the truth in God, okay, as opposed to, oh, I'm dating an Egyptian and I want to go through this process because I can't get married, because I can't get married to you unless you uh, get dunked by our church. So the person's going to come in, okay, I'm going to see if this is tolerable enough that it can pass the test that I can just, okay, dunk me so I can marry this beautiful Egyptian girl I love. Well, for that person, I got nothing. I'm sorry. I'm not your guy. Don't even ask me. But for the one who's seriously inquiring, he's going to be pretty astute theologically, and he's going to be a romophobe, which is what we were, which is what all of us are. Um, and we all have that issue. One big problem I see, though, is that Sometimes I hear people in the Coptic church wanting to copy things from the evangelical church to make them feel more welcome. Well, these issues that we're talking about, the icons, the intercessions and stuff, those you're going to have because you are a Romophobe. You were taught how evil Rome was and these things were connected with Rome. But those other things, I can promise you, because I've talked to, I can't count how many Orthodox converts, mostly in the Antiochian church, those things you're trying to copy, they were running away from them in the first place. They didn't like them. They didn't like the market-driven research. They didn't like the happy, clappy, fun time with a 30-minute pep talk. They wanted, they were hungry for something that was solemn, that was deep and substantial, that had roots, that connected them back to the church of history. All these things that you are by nature are the things that were the positive things that we were hungering for that virtually every single convert will tell you. I walked in and the incense and the, the, the solemnity, the um, priest, the altar, all these things, they were the appealing things. And those are the things people want to kind of, well, no, let's bring in more of this user-friendly thing. They were tired of that world. They didn't want that anymore. I used to come in when we'd talk sometimes, and they'd be singing songs, Protestant songs, in the meetings. And I just got to the point where I said, I'm going to be outside. You come get me when you're done. I don't want any part of this. Because I left the world with a professional band, professionals, with a professional singer, with smoke machines and light shows. And I mean hundreds of thousands of dollars in production costs. I didn't come here for some cheesy imitation of the thing I left. I came here because I wanted something substantial and real that wasn't entertainment. And that's what you'll find most of the true seekers that walk in the door are looking for, is something of depth. And, and you know, maybe they're not going to feel welcome. You say, if you have any questions, we can go in the back and I can quietly explain. Or if you'd prefer to just watch, that's your call. But right now, all the attention is forward, so, and, and that's it. We've come to appreciate that. We don't feel comfortable. If, if, you're, if the liturgy is going on and we see somebody we know and they do this, okay, I'm fine with that. I'm not comfortable with you shaking my hand or greeting me. This is not me right now. This is God. And this is the thing that we're seeking, that the, the inquirers are seeking. So don't try and copy the ex-wife when the guy's looking for a divorce and looking to for somebody who's different. <laughs> Thank you again. I hope everyone had uh, the opportunity to ask their questions. And I think this is encouraging for us to, to give us a more clear vision, not only for us personally on how to grow and how to teach our children the proper uh, uh, posture and and focus on, on growing in the Orthodox faith, but also um, the mindset that we need in in thinking about people converting to the church and not trying to be like less Orthodox, but rather um, trying to emphasize the the deep Orthodoxy that we have in the church. Thank you again. Um, we'll uh, we'll stand up to pray. <laughs>